Okay then. So Tom, what we're doing is this is our formative review. This is our first sort of stock check on your website. Obviously, we've had a formative feedback in that you pitched before. Yep. Um, and your pitch received feedback. And now this is about recording and just uh, trying to basically improve, enhance your practice in terms of your website, where yep. it works going, how it's going, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, some of these things you probably already know, hopefully already know, but some of them will hopefully give you new ideas about what to do and how to make your work better from this stage. OK. Yep. So we are in what's effectively week six. Um, yeah. Which. Uh, week, yeah, week six, because um, we started that only for that one day in the first week. Um, so at this point now, we have, uh, including this week, seven weeks left um, mm -hmm. total, including Easter, so five weeks of college. Um, do you feel like you're on track with your project at this stage? Yeah, yeah, okay. I do. And what have you done since your pitch? Like, what have you? Um, uh, well, I've <laughs> I've modelled and I've like made levels because um, I I hadn't done any of that before. The, um like before the pitch so since the pitch i've made three levels the third one's still in the working but i've okay. modeled everything um yeah okay cool right so a few little pointers straight away there's a few things that i'll just say as i see them that need to be fixed all right yeah, yeah. Uh, capitals for the titles of pages so capital b for bibliography up here yeah. right Yep. Um, authentication we have a an authentication page but we don't have the statement here okay yep so you need to get that statement and paste it and put it on there just put it in small normal typeface you, the thing with you is you're good at formatting your site so they look nice um, yeah but make sure that that is there and yeah, representing yeah, yeah. yeah so that's the first thing second obviously after the page title um on to your pitch evaluation now the reason i've gone on to here was to see when it clicks, if it's working, there we go, was to see um, what your summary or your reflection was on how the pitch went in the first place. Um, but this gives me nothing, Tom, all right? Yeah, any more this, than that. Yeah. Um, right. So if we, what we want to do is bring up this. I'm going to show you this because um, this is important as an ongoing tool. So when you're looking at teams and hopefully you're doing this on a daily basis, is looking at this guidance, which is effectively your yep. brief and also your website structure guide, right? Um, and down here, this is that grading matrix. So you did the grading activity before, right? Where you looked at other people's work and graded yep. it. Yep, I was your by one. Yeah, so you've got a sense of how the criteria read in terms of the difference between, let's say, a pass and a distinction. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, now, to get a pass for evaluation and reflection, it's, it's saying clearly communicate evidence, um, uh, a valid evaluation and realistic analysis independently used to inform and develop ideas so now this is the bit already just on your pitch bit where we you know you haven't really analyzed uh or used what we've said in the pitch in any way shape or form there's no reflection okay yeah the people the danger that people have with this is thinking oh it's just that summative evaluation that big thing i write at the end that counts towards this um uh, and actually not at all that that helps in, in tying up the loose ends but the evaluation really is about your ongoing blogging okay mm -hmm. and your yeah. ongoing reflection so with something like your pitch if if we'd said right look fraser said uh we talked about the the limitations of living or spaces and the idea that you know the spaces need to be populated with assets or how do you communicate a horror theme and what you could yeah. do to improve that so these are the things that were discussed in the pitch and that you need to then show that you've gone right well actually fraser said i need to go off and look at um, uh, locations in the real world to try and get a greater sense of what liminal spaces are and where I yep. might find them and yep. do you know what I mean and those things then filter into your work and show that and they probably have but without you making it what I call explicit what is not really obvious on this site yeah mm -hmm. yeah, yeah I can't award that grade basically Tom so you know where it falls flat is that you whilst i want to i know like for a fact you've been going all guns blazing on this project and you've you've gone heavily into creating making getting to grips like you're really enjoying the unreal engine process right yeah yeah I'm re yeah it's really like it's yeah i like like modeling stuff in blender and obviously getting it across into unreal yeah you know, like walk about it and stuff yeah I really exactly like, yeah. so your practical work is brilliant um but you know we've fallen down that trap again where we're looking at the re the website not not meet meeting that and i know you sort of see it as secondary but actually you do the you do the research and you do the 
um, background stuff to inform your work, but you just don't record it very effectively. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So you've got to do that bit for me a bit better because things like this need to be added and, and built upon and done yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in a way that's useful. So you can, now, because it's so far a, away that since you did the pitch that you probably can't remember what were the key things were that we said here mm. <coughs> or what we discussed. So that's meaning that you're going to have to watch this back and it'll probably click back in and that'll be fine. And that's, it's, that's why we do these you know videos because it means you've got it there. But equally, that's time sort of out of your schedule that where you're probably just wanting to get into Unreal and make the next level and, and do the nice parts and the things yeah, yeah. that you're enjoying that you've now got to go back and sort of do this in a way where it has less of a meaning. So you need to do the things as and when they're happening so that they have more effect, basically. Yeah. Mm. Instead of like, yeah, 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 all right. Instead of sort of doing it at the end because it ticks a box and, and, and then it always comes across as ticking a box. It comes, do you know what I mean? It sometimes portrays uh, left someone the last minute yeah and yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the thing with this year right is that there's three criteria that are added next year yep. in terms of um extra things that are assessed um, yep. one of them is called um planning and production um which is a part of practical skills it's you know how you plan and manage a project is a part of it but that's mm. the one where you would really come unstuck in your final project. You could, you know, I could easily see you achieving distinctive level work in yep. many outcomes. But if you haven't, one of the criteria there is it says that it's ongoing and that you're managing your project effectively. Um, and if I know that a lot of it's last minute additions and things like that, then it drops straight down into a pass or, you know, you know, really cap kneecaps you. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So you've got to sort that bit of your practice out, basically. And you, you, you knew this was coming. Mm. um but that's that's that bit okay so that's my first sort of gripe really just try and sort that out in terms of go back watch that video add that and then today's one do that right from the first bit so when i give you the video back for this try and just reflect on what we said about the things that you need to do so that they're not uh dragging into the next feedback session because at that point it'll just become redundant if i'm saying the same things again okay yeah all right so capital there, change the things, put it formatting, but most importantly, reflecting in more depth and detail at the time that it's happening, right? Yeah. Um, with this car image is going to go, I presume, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But obviously, I've, I want to finish the game, get screenshots, like get screenshots when it's done. Yeah. Instead of like ones that are like, I don't know, in Blender. That haven't been no, no, that's before. fine. That's fine. Uh, I just want to, I need to confirm that these are placeholders because yeah, yeah, yeah. as you know, I hate like. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, dynamic yeah. They're gonna stuff. Be stacked. For yeah. the context and research and the practical skills one I've got, two screenshots um cool. from the stuff so that yeah they right, will, yeah. yeah they will so be that will start to contact you. yeah that looks fantastic and much better yeah cool yeah, yeah yeah i mean you could have a video on your home page you could have a walkthrough video or like a final bit you know a looping yeah, 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 gif yeah. or something which would be nice but yeah. um i'm much more about like just the the as you know the neutral website that then sells the the content um on your home page you should have your project proposal form uh which is the you know your brief essentially which outlines yeah, yeah, what, yeah. have I've you got, got that, that? Yeah, yeah. Got, it's all done. It's, I guess, I don't know. I think it might be in one of my... I was going to say, is it on another practice. page? Yeah, let yeah. me just check. Is Not there. Let's see if it's on Prax skills. It shouldn't be on Prax skills, for sure. Yeah, because I know it's definitely in my, like, Wix uploaded files. So I guess right. I just need to get it on there, like a PDF okay. viewer or yeah, whatever yeah. it would be. Yeah, it doesn't look like... To me, it doesn't look like it's here. Unless, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. unless it's somewhere odd, but... I wouldn't imagine it would be on bibliography. No. Um, <clears throat> right. So that's your first. That's a really crucial thing. That's your brief, essentially. So yep. when I'm, you know, when I'm doing the final marking, you, you're saying that you're setting out to make a space that's got a liminal. And, and I've seen the document because I saw it at the pitch stage. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But you need to make sure that it's fully complete so that it's got all the, you know, the time plan at the, at the, at the at, Yeah. And all yeah. the like initial thoughts about what your research sources all of that needs to be done that needs to be on here okay yep yep right context and research um what have you done what's what do you know that you need to research further that you, um not i need to here? do i think i've i mean i've got i've researched a couple of games but i think looking at a few more maybe some films or tv series just mm -hmm. to get more i don't yeah just to get more just like knowledge on it i guess yeah um yeah cool um 
The other thing that's like immediately standing out as missing is you know the, what we talked about before when you re when you marked um, when you analysed other students' work to see what a distinction and a merit and a pass looks like. Yeah. You've got to put that on here as well. Okay, so that uh, yeah, is, yeah. that's because that goes on research because that's you just getting an idea of what the grading criteria looks like and how uh, how yeah. a distinction feels as opposed to a merit or a pass, yeah, right. or a fail even. Um, so if you put that up, that document that you shared with or did with Owen, um, which is on Teams, yeah, 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 you know where it is, do you? Yeah. So yeah, go back and get that um, and just put, you know, again, blogging about that. So that's an important one to put on there. So that's in portfolio grading exercise. Were you in for that? Yeah. Oh yeah, Tom and Justin. There you go. So yeah, yeah uploading this um, along with what you know, what you've got from it, what you thought, and just in, you know, it just shows that that initial sort of understanding of how grades are interpreted. Like what it looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> you know from that process that you were saying to me that you know that the pages have to be there's a lot of information, a lot of content on them, and they're they're serving a purpose. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so you've got a SWOT analysis. Um, okay, yeah, that looks all right. 18th of May, 20th. What's that about? Can I graduate that people uh, guarantee that people don't ask? Deadline for them is 18th of May, 22. I'm going to. So that's not right. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. I don't. It is the 18th, I think. Let me just double yeah. check now. It made me doubt that. Uh, I'd imagine is it oh I don't think that's right right um, hang on let me check the term calendar so May you break up on the 27th so it'd be the 20th that yours would be yours is in for the 20th that Friday okay all right you got the Friday until the Friday to get it in uh, so yeah things like that yeah just sort like these are the little details but they're it all sort of points to an inaccurate picture yeah yeah okay we've got examples of lim liminal spaces like again this is all right that that's quite good for your reference pictures but what i'm not then seeing is like yeah there are examples of liminal spaces but what i'm not getting from that is your interpretation of it mm. so you know they're at this point afterwards or at some point you could you should be then saying well look that some of the key things about liminal spaces are that they have like a lot of the things are about repeating patterns you know we you know when you see yeah, yeah, yeah. you see things that a texture is a repetition a lot of tiles a lot of wallpaper tiling mm. materials and uh, you know are a, th um, a big part of most games anyway but and and like where you see carpet where you see wallpaper they have that there's nothing too distinctive about them. They just have a kind of, you know, a generic sort of bland feel. A lot of the yeah. colour schemes, you know, the colours that we see, we're talking like beiges and off-whites and, mm -hmm. you know. Like washed out colours. Washed out colours in terms of lighting. There's a lot of man-made artificial lighting. We're seeing, you know, fluorescent tubing or mm -hmm. um, panel lights, um, countersunk lights, actually. We don't have any, you know, you'd never see a chandelier or something that's quite stylized. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You just get really kind of neutral things. Um, and then from that, you can you can then go, well, look, look these are the sorts of places in, in real, it, that I can access that have, I think, have that similar feel, like swimming pools and gyms or... Yeah, I've got some multi -story pictures cover. further down yeah. the page of ones I've taken. Um, yeah. Yeah. But you like, Which, a little... Yeah, which on. is good and that, like what what i've then seen is you contextualize it by saying right look the stanley parable and the shining have have these liminal spaces and they have mm -hmm. they have very much the right sort of feel because they have this and that and the other yeah, yeah. which is good but that's the bit that's not that's not joining up you know yep. that, that it's that those sorts of things where you've gone well look i can see this and that and the other and and it might even be really nice to go well look if i take a one image like let's say this corridor here mm -hmm. as as a generic example and then annotate it to say look man-made countersunk lighting repeating pattern of a like neutral thing color scheme sort of washed out and drab mm. odd odd bit of signage you don't have to have stuff that's like repeating repeating we've got things that break up the space like this fire extinguisher or like the, the alarm and things but mm. you know from that i'd get so much more of what what you're taking from it and then if i if i then see that in your work i'm like oh tom's really got that because he's gone you know and what I've actually happened from the images yeah, yeah. and what actually happened with the practice skills bit 
when you were doing your first level, which I thought was nice when you were doing the posters for this bit, right? Yeah, you yeah, did. Yeah. You started off by putting in uh, something. I don't know whether they've sh- not they've gone now, but there was stuff in. Yeah, I think you did this initially, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, These yeah. sorts of yeah, horror yeah. things. And you said uh, that's too like stereotypical. Yeah, and also it's too, it's too it's too it's too easy to reference it stands out yeah, too yeah, much yeah. it's not liminal in that it's like oh that's like not what i you know that's not what uh what i've yeah. seen in my research so then you changed it and went right let's just put a tube map there or let's put one of these public information images that's yeah. a bit weird so, like yeah because they're not like horror scary but they're just like creepy because i was like talking about death and stuff so yeah exactly so as soon yeah. as you started putting in this that's a bit too jarring Mm. you you saw it and actually someone else in the group said it to you or something i think and yeah, yeah, yeah. so those are the bits of those are the bits of the story that are getting lost um which are really really important that's the bits where i could go look tom's tom's shown that because he's discarded this he's looked at that and then he's gone back and changed it mm. and that's because he's got such a clear understanding of what a liminal space is and that's because he's been really thorough in his research and shown that yeah yeah, yeah. So that's that's the thing for me that is the danger where where you do things and you do them without recording them or just think about them and you process a lot of things and we all do it like a lot of the thing is you just want to get on and you know that this is a time consuming project and you want to put as much effort in as possible and make something as big and as impressive as possible which is you know ultimately great the outcome is a big part of it but without joining up the dots and the you know the detailing that's where i'm going to be like oh i wish i you know want to give you that grade for this part yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like quality but, of content yeah, yeah yeah exactly but and those are the things that you've got to change about your practice so these are things that if you do them little and often i know i keep saying this but little and often with your blogging yep then that's that's the big difference here basically tom okay all right yeah, yeah. um so i went around to it took some liminal because it's a place that normally looks um and again, like what would be nice looking for materials and how lighting works. So that's again quite nice. This is good, and like that's good. I think one of the you could do, try and do some look at some other spaces, like we talked about, if you can get out to a multi-story car park yeah, or yeah, yeah. or a gym or somewhere else, even another part of the college, um, yeah, yeah. like like a kitchen. They've got like the kitchens down there or something. Um, that that. Um, these are really good like this you know this is spot on for what you what we've seen yeah, yeah. in these sort of blank spaces um uh so yeah it's it's good but this is this is the bit that you know where i'd actually be struggling to pass this at the moment if i'm looking mm. at the grading criteria which is a shame because i don't you know we shouldn't be in that realms with this okay yeah, yeah, yeah. so we scroll down here i'm sure you would agree wouldn't you that this doesn't feel like a pass level at the minute yeah yeah, yeah. So limited or understanding of subject context, lacking clarity and purpose. I think that would probably be harsh because in the pitch and stuff, you've done enough, you've shown enough that where you're going, you did a really good job with a lot of your pitch that you have a good understanding and, and what's in, you know, you can't generally, you can't make a good product without understanding the context of what it is you're doing. Yeah. yeah, of so, course, yeah. so there is that bit where you can argue that's, that gives you a certain amount of leeway with, as an assessor to go, right, well, look, the product's so good because you've understood it and blah, blah, blah. But if it's not really there in the, in the work, then when I'm trying to say, especially if I wanting to argue up to a high, the highest grade or a higher grade beyond mm. a pass, that's when the assessor will most likely and and be challenging me if if mm. the work's not not evident on the site well i can't say well i look i know that tom's got that because he said this to me and did that and i saw that happen in the session that doesn't work you know mm. yeah, yeah, yeah and they will just argue me down back to a lower grade so you have to make it so that because i obviously i want to be able to award everybody the highest grade that i can yeah yeah you have to just make that bit easy for me. So mm. the comprehensive understanding of subject knowledge used uh, context to, used to communicate complex concepts, articulate ambitions and clarify those. And the complex concepts bit, your concept for your project is complicated. You know, you're trying to implement lots of mechanics that we haven't achieved before. You're trying to you get across a really strong uh, I, the ambition for your project is great you want to you want you know multiple levels you want you know advanced things happening you want a really distinctive art style you you want a photorealistic thing and whilst the simplicity of your kind of 
um, textures in your maps is is there it it doesn't mean that the project's easy in any way and you're doing really well with your project so you. you know in terms of when we're looking at practice skills I would hope you know I think it would be much easier and I'm sure you know, know that I could say like you've got a really un in-depth understanding and an aesthetic awareness um, because you're talking about the right colors you're showing the right textures and things like this you've got yeah. imaginative flexible processes skills and knowledge is applied to do more than you know basic inquiry you're going beyond what's covered etc so yeah. that again hopefully when you get to the practical skills but again you've got a blog thoroughly to show that but the evidence is there in the outcome yep now this is the bit <clears throat> where at the moment little or no evidence presented of information does not relate sufficient i mean that would be quite harsh i'd say but we're certainly skirting around this area of sufficient relevant information being gathered documented mm -hmm. and used we're definitely nowhere near this which is thorough sustained research you know that's been happening a lot to get your project to where it is yeah yeah, yeah. all right would you, would you agree yeah and equally like you did it independently identify the theme of liminal spaces but you haven't then gone the extra mile and gone right i'm off to a can um you know today i said right go and take some photos of college and you've done it but and you we talked about that in your pitch a couple of weeks ago and that so those things need to be happening like instantly yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. need to just be doing like you're living and breathing the project in that when you're in college you're you put you're going all guns blazing you, you're working really hard <coughs> sorry and um you know you're you're showing a very high level of working but this is the bit where i want to be going look you you know this is what's gonna i know i can already see and you probably can is going to be the bit that could really hold you back all right mm, yeah, yeah so in terms of other things that you need to do that we can point you towards to help with getting your research stronger what do you think you need to look at research wise that all is lacking as except for a blogging in more detail about what the research you've done already um i think taking more pictures would be useful not yeah. only because of research but and just through modeling really would just be really useful yeah um just writing a little bit more about obviously just things i put up just like just writing a bit more about them going into yeah. more depth yeah um writing up more about the old like powerpoint i did the one that we recorded and stuff getting a write yeah. up about that yeah um going through the things you said on that uh -huh. um yeah and i think one of the things is to break it down a bit more when you look at examples of games or franchises it doesn't necessarily need to be a game it's a, like say a horror thing or whatever mm. it, especially for horror or that that kind of codes and convention stuff that we did you know we've done before in previous projects mm. so that you know, the idea that you know you you've got audio implemented in yours and you've done that because you've looked at examples and you've gone and, and interpreted that and you've made you know you've sampled audio and things that are as appropriate mm. if you break it down if you use this checklist if you break it down so that you think right let's break down a game into the codes and conventions of uh, like horror or walking sims or both a kind of co combination um you want the feeling of like okay what how's the audio linked to the visuals and the gameplay so the technical stuff linked to the story as well so those four mm -hmm. things remember those four bits that we did before with with um contextual research that you think about the codes and conventions of yeah. that genre okay um so that's and, and again your research will be ongoing in that you'll need to research technical stuff because you've been doing that really well like you've been you know saying to me oh how do i do this or i oh, look at this and then uh, you know i only need to show you something as a starter and you build on that which is great and that's that's like then pushing you up to sort of high level re you know distinctive interpretation of research and things but you've got to show that in in your but do you use this like to-do list at all? Have you used that? I had it up. I had it up today. I was just reading mm. through it, but yeah, I, I, I will. Yeah, I will use it more. I think so because, like, if you again with codes and conventions, that bit there is something that's really would be really useful. The history, um, like, the, so the history of like earlier examples of like walk, walking sims or like you know that like if you think about PT, it's a really old game now, isn't it? Like, yeah, that kind of idea of of cycling through the same environment um mm -hmm. which does have loads of similarities to yours but we want we want to see your idea of that and same with stanley parable that's a really old kind of franchise now that um has really close ties with yours which is a great example for you to look at but yeah i really found that yeah that game yeah yeah it's good um and then again like you know horror like the shining is really nice to your interpretation the, the kind of 
um, hallways of that, the floor and the carpets and everything. Yeah, because I watched it as well. I watched, obviously, because I got that screenshot and everyone was like, yeah, that, that corridor is really similar to the screenshots, like the pictures you've already got. Yeah, so yeah. I, and I went and watched it as well. And there was there was more than just that corridor, but I don't want to add too many pictures and stuff. But Yeah, yeah. no, but that's really, that's that's really nice. If that bit of insight is like, okay, I watched The Shining um, and add that. So like off the back of this, I really watched The Shining to get a, or watched it for the first time to get a sense of like what it is how they build suspense um and one of the things that you probably notice because it's in your game is like flickering lighting yeah um so you know the idea that those things you probably just some of those things will happen subconsciously because you watch a thing and you, you're interpreting it and you're getting ideas from it and you're just like okay yeah no it's quite cool and then like okay so how how shadows are used or the creepiness or the sort of sound effects to indicate that you've triggered something to happen yeah um so those are the things like that are really nice and it's sort of that it's got a sort of retro feel i often find these the sort of spaces that you're building and they have a they never sort of feel quite of the moment do they they sort of no, feel slightly yeah because they're all like old and abandoned some of them I yeah guess. it's that dated sort of tired feeling like yeah the shining like the setting of it is a more modern and then it feels like because he's going back in time to that isolated abandoned hotel thing it's exactly. like then then it means that it's contextually okay to have yeah. the ghosts all looking kind of victorian or you know definitely dated and the people in yeah. old clothes and things because all it, the houses are like i don't know all the old houses i've got the screenshots from and stuff they're just like tired and just like sun bleached and yeah stuff yeah like yeah. That. yeah anything you can imagine like which is why the college is perfect. <laughs> I was going to say, not, not yeah. like saying the college is like that. <laughs> no, no, it yeah. is. It is, though. It's, it is a tired place. You know, the building yeah. is, is run down. So it's perfect. But the, the idea that you can kind of um, get those things from watching the film, that's great. I, I would love to go look. Tom, Tom went to the extreme of watching The Whole of the Shining and took notes and got ideas for this. And that's come through in this. Do you know what I mean? That's the bits yeah, yeah, where yeah. I, can, I can tie it up and draw a lot more from it. Um, so you've got to do those bits more in more detail, basically. Yeah. Try and add to these bits, but it might you might find that you 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 can get more from vlogging. So you might want. I don't know if you feel like that's something that would work for you to record yourself talking or not. Mm, I mean, I don't really know to be honest, because I, I, at the moment I either like screen record or just take mm. screenshots of what I'm doing and then just talk about like write up yeah. about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, it might yeah. be something to try. Like if it's something that you do more immediately and get. You might get more detail if you do that because um, yeah. at the moment it's, it's like some of the details lost in, in your blogging stuff yeah um so yeah i think this is like there's so many cool things that are going on in this project like when we get into the practical side of the work then it's great but when i come to do my second formative review mm. Because I know that you've got this more in hand, I'd probably be more, you know, at the next one, unfortunately, I'm going to have to be looking more back at practical and context. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, context and research rather than practical, because that's my area of concern with, with you in terms of blogging and stuff. And not to yeah. say that this, this could do with more detail as well, really. I know you don't. Is it you just don't like typing or you just. I mean, just, I, don't, I don't know. I just I just prefer like yeah doing like the unreal or blender work. yeah 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 but, which is yeah. which is natural like everybody kind of gravitates more to the process you've got better at it like that was why your last project was so much more of a success you know um and in the group project context like obviously everybody else was chipping in so you got a sense of like some people uh blogging in a bit more detail and that helped but yeah, you know yeah. you really drove that project forward yourself as you know and that was great so practical skills wise and and project management wise and things you've got lots to offer and it all points to a really really strong project that i can't wait to see like get further along and you know it's it's really exciting but at the same time there needs to be this this process needs to be more in detail okay yeah all right. um in terms of other things for your research as well as uh context and it's kind of codes and conventions of, of horror and looking at um you know this sort of the subtle ways that suspense and those kinds of things are done the other thing to look at is that you need to have primary research so you need to have um, yeah i'm gonna do a a um oh, i believe what they called like a form like a yeah survey yeah survey survey yeah i'll get um, one of them up i can what, what are you going to focus on with your survey what sort of um things? i mean it, it could be like some ideas that i've done if you like it or not or like maybe like which is your favorite level out of the three i've done 
yeah. or just like because I think you can get like text ones as well. So like, what what do you think I could do to like improve? Yeah, definitely. I uh, think like because little things because, like that. Yeah, but like you can do it to establish the audience stuff initially. But I also think like later down the line, after half term or after Easter, rather, it's, it'll be a good idea to um, try to say two two weeks like halfway through the second part. Uh, after Easter to get something that's fully playable that you can yep. get people to sit down at and then give you feedback in terms of where where you can make improvements in the final couple of weeks because that would have really helped as you know as your feedback said for your group project if you'd got feedback earlier on in, in a playable sense you were getting people to come over and look at what you were making which was great but if you just formally record that in this project that would really help you as well okay mm. um so yeah, I don't want to be too down. I think this is an absolutely brilliant. Like it's got it's got the makings of a fantastic project. You can see that you're really into it, and you're making it something that you I'm sure you'd be really proud of for your yeah. for your portfolio, and the detailing and everything. It does you know these these images that you're producing really do closely replicate the stuff that you're showing in your research, which yeah. is in one sense a real success, but in another sense it's just a shame that the the kind of detailing isn't there to show how it's got there basically okay mm, yeah so a concerted effort please in in blogging adding content to this and i'm more than happy to look at it again before the next formative to kind of give you some pointers so that we're not spending too long on this and we can get into more of the the practical and getting the final thing developed okay mm, yeah all right all right so we'll stop recording here then tom i'll okay. send you the video in a minute Okay, and then if you can um, put that onto your evaluation page. Yeah, I'll type up about this one and then I'll also do the yeah, old one as well. add to your other one. Do the little things that are easy, like the proposal needs to go on there and the, yeah, and you know, the bibliography at the top. Bibliography caps and all that rubbish, but then really important stuff like the detailing up your research and yep. the thinking about what other things you can add to it, like just mechanic analysis. And it doesn't have to be from similar games. You can start to go a bit wider. So like, hmm. you know, when you're looking at, how footsteps sound when you're walking through water and things like that let's you know let's see um examples of that in games and and how you've gone about implementing that have you got have you shown that process in here as well um if not i will because i've yeah. got screenshots and stuff of that yeah so again um, like i'm sure you have like this looks yeah like, that's it. It? yeah yeah so but again you know that would be great to have have that documented and there was like that whole problem with it not working when it broke when you went to the next map that probably not detailed in yeah yeah that's that's what the problem was to begin with that's why i had to change it because i i yeah i had the sound just for the walk animation so like, yeah whatever yeah. walking at all it would just play a certain sound so we had yeah. to change that um, so so this is like the stuff again this isn't luckily this isn't assessed in this year's project problem solving is not part of year one it becomes a criteria in year two, but we still try and get you to get good at like recording problems yeah, and solving yeah, yeah. them. But luckily that doesn't get graded this year, but that's like, a, you you know, you're really good at that. You you find a problem, but you don't get bogged down with it. You solve it or you find a way around it. Yeah. Um, and and that whilst that thing caused you quite a bit of extra work last week, you didn't, you know, some people would have gone up, oh, you know, I just sod it, I'll just leave it as it is or whatever, yeah. I have it broken. But so that those are things that are really useful to, to try to show. And again, because you didn't do it at the time, now it's like sort of lost in that that evidence is lost. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. And I know that happened. That's why I'm talking about it. Otherwise, that's just gone. And, then, and you know, in a few weeks time, well, I won't even remember that. And you, you probably won't. So, OK. Mm. Right. That's that's enough of me groping. That's that bit done. <laughs> Let's stop. <laughs> stop recording. Um,